So every now and then the topic of waxing the chain comes up and this is something I've been doing for more than a year now. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll uh, skip all the discussion and get right down to business. So I've been riding on this chain for hundreds and hundreds of miles. As you can see, the chain is still shiny and clean. The cassette looks pretty good. I have done absolutely nothing to this chain in probably six or 700 miles. Not wiped it, not uh, cleaned it, nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off. Here's my quick link. Speed link, whatever the different different companies call it different things. Use a chain tool. Let's pop that off. And these are a new set. I just put these on last time. Oop! You're only supposed to use them three times, which I learned the first time the hard way. And we'll go ahead and take the tension off the chain there and pull it out. If you've got a fancy chain that doesn't use speed links or master links or whatever you want to call them, then this is a lot more difficult. So that's what I do. KMC X10SL. Go ahead and put the chain tool back. Okay, so now we got the chain and the links, speed links. I'll take my fancy wax bath here, turn it on. I like to fold this flat so it lays all the way submerged and the molybdenum gets in there and that black is molybdenum disulfide it's not dirt for the most part so there we go <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that until tomorrow and take okay. it out. so here is the next part of the chain waxing procedure the chain's been sitting in this bath all day uh, I'm not gonna leave it overnight because I actually want to get out of here early in the morning so I'm gonna get this cooling off now one problem here is this lid has some wax and it's been getting stuck down Probably should clean it off at some point. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so there's the chain. Again, all that black stuff is molybdenum disulfide. Can't forget I got the quick links in there. I usually use a chopstick to help me with this part. Um, this wax is not too hot to touch. This is a wax bath designed for dipping your hands into, um, for soothing them, for arthritis or whatever, but the chain holds a lot of heat and conducts it pretty well, so sometimes I like to let that cool down for a second before I touch it. And then I've got some nails up here for any number of purposes, and this is one of them. So I'm going to hang this on a nail where it can drip into the wax, and then do like, just like you wipe off <coughs> excess liquid chain lube, I'm going to wipe off the excess wax here with a paper towel. And again, if you get this stuff on your hands, it is black from the molybdenum disulfide. You don't have to use that, but once it cools down, it'll just scrape right off my hand. It won't leave any marks at all. Don't even need to wash. Don't have the daylight anymore. So it's a little harder to see this as it's backlit, but Oop. still nice and shiny, just like it was before. I broke my chopstick. Again, we're just trying to get the excess wax off of here. Um, it's okay if you leave it on, but then it's going to be really stiff when you go to after it's cooled when you go to put the chain on, and uh, you'll have to kind of break it all down. It'll leave extra wax on your cogs until that wears off. So, I after doing this a few times, I just prefer to wipe it down. Okay, uh, now with my I guess broken chopstick. Um, I got the molybdenum stirred up, so it's a little bit hard, but I found one of the quick links here. I'm just going to try and reach in and grab it. That might be the best. Ugh, that is hot. There it is. Got it. Okay, where's the other one? Um, I used to do this with two chopsticks, and after a while I just figured out it wasn't necessary, but you could do it with a spoon or fork would actually probably work great. Fork would work a lot better. I found something there. Again, if you if you don't use the molybdenum disulfide, um, this is much easier because it's clear. Ah, there it is. Got it. <laughs> Mosquito. Okay, so now I'm just going to let those cool. This will all scrape off of my fingers in just a few minutes. Easy peasy. 
and uh, then in the morning before my ride I'll go ahead and put this chain back on okay this is the last step in waxing the chain we're just gonna put it back on the bike As you can see it's a little bit stiff I'll just give it a quick side to side wiggle break break the solid wax there but it's still down inside the rollers which is where we really want it <clears throat> okay ideally I would make this look really good but probably I won't there we go it's chain ring okay Always here, you got to be careful. Get it under the tab on the rear derailleur, or the tabs. I guess there's one for each jockey wheel. There we go. Okay, now need the quick links here. This one got stuck. Probably should use the tool for this. It makes it a little bit easier. Less likely for these links to go flying. This is not what I want to do this morning. Okay, chase down links. really not a convenient place for the cranks right now. Wondering if I can move this a little. There we go. Okay. So now that we've got our chain where we want it, put these links in. any skin in this process. These are pretty new links. They didn't give me this much trouble the last time, but... <clears throat> Probably got some wax keeping these from seating all the way. There we go. Make sure that's in all the way. Feel it on both sides. Okay. Now, <clears throat> chain might hop a little bit at first until all that wax is broken. There we go.